Well, welcome to Unruly Guide Step-by-Step -step Tutorial. In this tutorial, we're just going to be working with the master template, just kind of changing out some content of the pages I have already created. And this will be the copyright, the acknowledgments, and the author pages, and it's pretty simple. What you're going to do is in page view, we're going to go to the acknowledgments page. And you can see here, if you want to see it larger, you can just enlarge it down here, that the first paragraph is flush left and each other paragraph, subsequent paragraph, will be indented. I do that because in a lot of nonfiction books, the first paragraph normally is not indented. And that's what this classification is that I have created, which is also in the style sheet. It tells this first paragraph to not indent the first line. If you want it indent, you just have to take out this classification. And then if you go back to the page, you can see that it is now indented. So if we just continued on with the book or the paragraph, you can see that it will indent in each subsequent paragraph indent. If you decide, oh, you know, I really don't want it indented, you just go in front of the, in the bracket, and it will be bracket P space class equals quote no IND end quote and that will put it back to the flush left so like I said I already have it set up in the CSS what you can do here is if you just want to change your text you could just highlight it and copy and start typing the thing is as though if you highlight it every paragraph will be flush left here because of this so you have to if I highlight it and I say this is my first paragraph this is my second. You're going to have to go down to the second paragraph and take out that class. I know it's kind of icky or whatever. What you could do is just take out the classification on the first paragraph, go ahead and type them all, and then put it back in. The author page is basically the same. It just has an image in there that you want to switch out. So let's look at that. You can see here that the image is set to a height of 198 and a width of 150. Now in the new KF8 and in normal EPUB books, you don't really have to specify the height and width because it will bring it in as what it's supposed to be. But in the older Kindle books, it will actually stretch it. So it's up to you. You know, I know the KF8 should update to all the other um, digital and apps, um, devices and apps soon, but they aren't yet. So you might want to know what your actual height and width is when you put it in. If you're going to put in a headshot, just go ahead and name it headshot. That way you don't have to change this link. If you do change it over here, then it has to match here. Same I said with the height and the width. The cover page has this cover. Obviously you're going to want your own. And it is here too as the cover image. So you have your headshot and your cover image. To delete an image, you just right click and click remove. And it'll ask you, do you really want to do this? And you go, okay. Now to add an image, you just go right click and you go add existing images. So I'm just going to add this one because it's there. Notice that I have it the same name, cover. Now it may be a different cover, but it allows me to not have to change this URL right here. Now I also notice when I change the cover out, it rearranges the pages, which I have no idea why it's doing that, and it shouldn't, so I've put in a um, troubleshooting thing for that. That means you're going to have to drag and replace your pages where you want that cover, copy. It's like it put it in the reverse order, which is really annoying, and there we go. When you have it in the right order, you want to generate your TOCs, and you want to save the file. And because it rearranged it, I would probably check to make sure all the semantics are correct. Yeah, and this one's still there. So anyway, so you have to always watch things. Just because you've set something certain places, this program, it changes so much that it does have some weird quirks. Now, you can change out the headshot image the same way. You can remove it. And then to add it, you add an existing file. And we're just going to add the headshot there. And it didn't rearrange the things there, so it has something to do with the cover. It shouldn't be doing that. So anyway, that's how you add images and change content, and you can always validate again to see. And now we're going to go to EPUB check to make sure everything is valid.